Our story begins with Cooper Holmes. He's just moved into an old house, and it's in the middle of nowhere. That's fun. So he goes into the woods. And then, guess what? There's a girl, and she's like, Get out of here. The woods, your house, they're haunted. And so he freaks out and runs away. So he's like, wow, we got to get out of here. But no one believes him. So basically, the werewolf of Fever Swamp happens again. Except instead of hearing weird barks at night, he sees ghost dogs. Whoa, that's spooky. Anyways, him and Fergie become friends. That's the girl, by the way. And uh, they become friends for some reason. I don't know how. They just do. Anyways, uh, she's like, hey... It was your brother that made me say that it was haunted. Sorry. So they decide to get revenge. So Fergie stays over. They try and scare him, but it doesn't work. So they see the dogs again. And then the dogs lead them to a shack in the woods. They get pushed inside. And then, oh my fucking lord, they switch do the bodies with the dogs. Oh no! That's spooky. So they're like, well, fuck, we're dogs now. So they try to get their bodies back. But guess what? It's harder than it's expected because they everyone thinks that they're dogs. Yeah. So here's what happens, right? They, uh, they take the people and they drag them, right? And then they throw them into the shack. And then they jump in the shack. And then when they finally come out, guess what? Oh my gosh, they're chipmunks. They didn't actually get their bodies back. Holy fook, that's spooky. Ghost of a dog Barking in the backyard This book has all the information on Goosebumps monsters. But why, if she sent this to me, why wouldn't it be in the mailbox? You know, weird things have been happening since I started this series. Someone's gotta be behind it. And whoever it was didn't want me to find this book. Thank you.